We are joined today by Chef Martita Hara. How are you doing today? I'm good, honey. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So on an upcoming episode of Homemade Simple, yes. you made a menu for people with dietary restrictions. For a little boy, his mother has him on a very specific diet. She's trying to control some behavioral issues. Yeah. So he's gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free. How is it that and you And it's a little boy. Yeah. Exactly. How is it that you manage to make those type of meals and still make them delicious? I surprised myself. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, oh, Martita, by the way, we also need you to make him a dessert. I was like, how do you make a dessert like this? Yeah. And, you know, we've all bought those package things that are gluten-free, dairy-free, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna eat something that's good for me. You take a bite out of it, and it tastes like cardboard. Yeah, disgusting. So I was afraid that was gonna happen. Thank God it didn't. I made a double chocolate, coconut, peanut butter, gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free cookie that changed our lives. Huh. Everyone on set, exactly. Have you noticed my mouth is watering oh a little bit gosh, right now? We couldn't <laughs> stop eating these cookies. They were amazing, and yeah. they're now a favorite in my home. I love that. So what's your favorite meal to make like in the spring? I love like flatbreads, mm, you know, and good. I don't want to have to make my own dough. Mm -hmm. So I just go to the supermarket and I buy a fresh pizza dough, roll it out and whatever I'm in the mood for. I walked through the produce department one summer and I saw strawberries. And so you're thinking, oh, she's going to make a parfait or something. I made a chorizo, strawberry, arugula pizza with chiles and onions that will change your life. And you know, who buys strawberries and goes home and makes a pizza? Yeah. Um, I do, thank you very First much. All, the title of that has already just made my mouth start to water. I'm like, it was so amazing. So what is it like making those exciting dishes? I, you know, I cook, I always tell people I cook from here. Yeah. And so I start thinking, mm, what is that gonna taste like? Oh, mm. that's gonna be good. And I go to the meat department, I'm like, mm, yeah, that looks kind of good. And I just start imagining these different flavors together. So I always want something sweet, mm -hmm. I want something savory, and then I need that fresh element. So I pick those three things and I go home and try it out. And hey, I've made mistakes. Yeah. There's sometimes where I go, mm, not so much, Martita, but for the most part, it's good. It's good. You're trying it. You're changing we it. We have to try. We have to take a risk. Yeah, this sounds really delicious. Thank you so much, Martita. My pleasure. Now, I can't wait to test these tips at home. What tips are you going to try?